Every Audi is made of unique materials. Their careful selection and attractive finish give the car a very special aesthetic look. This is why Audi's haptic designers work daily on creating unique textures. We have a lot of passion. There's a lot of soul in what we do, absolutely. But what materials does Audi use to give every vehicle such a feel-good atmosphere? You get into the car and basically it's like coming home. It's your living room. Even if it's the first time you've got into the car, it's all tidy. Everything matches. Nothing disturbs. There's nothing to disturb the haptics, nothing to disturb the eye. It's just all about feeling fantastic. And that's what's so important with our cars and makes them so special. What we have to do is design and put the DNA of the brand in that specific color using different pigment, different refraction, different uh, texture, or, or it depends, I mean, what, which material we are talking about. The materials include carbon, wood, paint, and various leather finishes. These all have to meet the high quality requirements of Audi. Since sustainability plays an important role in leather production, Audi is also developing a special leather with the name Unicart. With this leather variant, the authentic, unadulterated raw material plays a foreground role. Audi uses exclusively natural tanning agents for it, such as strawberry leaves. So basically what we wanted to have is uh, taste a leather that is transparent, that uh, has kind of emphasize the beauty of the imperfection of the material leather. To ensure longevity as well as high quality, around 45 different tests are carried out. Special material samples serve as test objects. The results all need to be positive before a material can be processed for an Audi. On this test machine, we simulate the abrasion resistance and the wear behavior that the leather undergoes in the vehicle across a period of seven to 10 years. Here we have a material sample with its test surface, and here you can still see the abrasion wheel marks. An intact surface with no damage at all. For me, this leather's been properly tested. The subjective perception of the leather also plays an important role. We place very great importance on our haptics. The leather has to be authentic. After selection of the materials, they are carefully integrated into the Audi. The design of the individual interior and exterior elements also influences the haptics. The clearances and the joins are extremely important because they represent the overall harmony in the vehicle, inside as well as out. Nothing annoys customers more than having to operate a gear lever or a switch where there's a sharp edge projecting. So it's hugely important for us to bring harmony into the vehicle. So the materials have to be perfectly coordinated. They also have to be of very high quality and carefully checked. That's the key to a fantastic look and feel inside the vehicle. The Audi as a living room, a feast of the senses. Feeling great inside an Audi begins with a pleasant smell in the interior. This is why the individual vehicle parts are all chemically analyzed and evaluated. The objective being to create the best possible smell. But what are the preferences of Audi customers? And how is that special new car fragrance achieved? The odor specialist Dr. Ludwig Pohl deals with issues like these on a daily basis. Well, Audi customers like it best when they can hardly smell anything in a new car. No odor at all is unfavorable, of course, but there shouldn't be any really noticeable ones. He not only analyzes odors, but also chemical substances that can escape from the vehicle parts. Heat lamps set up outside the vehicle simulate the effects of high interior temperatures on hot summer days. The odors produced are then evaluated by three to five test persons. There are parts that smell dull or musty, and there are also parts with a very sharp smell. Assessment of the perceived odors is done via a system of marks. They range from one to six, with six representing a really noticeable smell. The components need to reach a maximum of 3.5 to be processed in the Audi. The Audi new car fragrance is derived from natural emissions from valuable materials inside the car, such as leather and a neutral, pleasant plastic odor. Pleasant smelling materials mustn't contain any substances harmful to health, of course. 
for this reason, the chemical constituents of the materials are thoroughly checked. An Audi specialist heats up the vehicle components inside a so-called component chamber. This is done for four hours at a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. We analyze the air in the chamber. We analyze the air in the chamber. All the gas produced by the four hours of storage accumulates inside, and then the substances can be condensed in so-called absorption tubes, similar to a sponge absorbing water. Ending with a swarm of water absorbed. A so-called chromatogram then shows the chemical ingredients that have been filtered out. Each peak represents a substance that was found inside the component chamber. If the values are exceeded, the vehicle parts are modified. Our output is that we simply we simply ensure that there are no substances present that might pose certain health hazards or smell unpleasant. And we also make sure that the overall level of chemical substances inside the vehicle remains as low as possible. In our mobility gigging is a neutral smell and the scent of leather. Those are the Audi customer preferences. The Audi and its fragrance, an essence of the senses. Every car has its own unique sound. But that includes much more than just the sound of the engine. It's the goal of several departments at Audi to create a unique sound design for the entire vehicle. But how does every Audi end up sounding really sporty and high quality? Johannes Kirstner, an acoustics engineer at Audi, works each day on analyzing the sound of car components, both inside and outside the vehicle. We're responsible here for the acoustic measurement of parts such as spoilers, window winders, windscreen wipers, and electric seat adjusters. We measure all those parts and then evaluate them acoustically. A so-called dummy head is used for sound recording. Equipped with microphones, it simulates human hearing. To ensure that measurements can be compared, the head always has to be in the same position. Here you can see the recording of the window winder. Here as a raw signal, here opening, and here closing. Terms such as amplitude or frequency are used here to define the perception of a sound. Their meaning can be illustrated by an orchestra. It consists of a large variety of instruments with different pitches, so-called frequencies. The amplitude defines their volume. To create exceptional overall acoustics, the individual instruments have to harmonize with each other where sound and intensity are concerned. And with Audi, it's just the same. This is why Audi's sound designers have created a very special sound for all the car's control elements, the so-called Audi click. Um diesen Klick so hinzubekommen, it took a few attempts to finally get the click just right. Of course, we had to try out different spring strengths and also different materials to achieve the precise click as specified by us at Audi. However, not only all the controls but also the display is highlighted acoustically by the unique Audi click. It's simply our concept of high quality, so that whatever Audi you're sitting in, from the A1 to the A8, you always get the same acoustics. But how is it that similar components can sound different? A visual comparison of a spoiler engine from the A7 to the TT reveals no differences. On the one hand, the A7 is slightly larger in size, so the spoiler is a bit further away from the vehicle's occupant. On the other hand, a plastic tank has been integrated and the whole thing slightly decoupled, while on the TT it's all been simply screwed onto the sheet. If background noise of indeterminate origin occurs, an acoustic camera is used. Microphones are installed outside it, on the arms. From the differences in the sound duration, the camera can calculate the location of the sound in the image. The evaluation of short, more complex sound events, such as the closing of a car door, requires a keen ear and all the expertise of an acoustics engineer. In that case, we heard a rattle near the left door. Now we'll check if the right door is better. Yeah, special constructions such as insulation inserts can also influence the sonic properties of a component. In addition, the quiet thump created by opening and closing mechanisms enhances the perception of a premium quality car. 
specially composed sounds used on the display and all the other controls round off the feeling of reassuringly high quality. The Audi and its special sounds, an instrument of the senses.